went the national title. Penn State comes in here today. They're still in the top 20, but nowhere near where they were about a month ago. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler with Gary Danielson. A month ago, Gary, this was the number three team in the country. Joe Paterno told us then we're not that good. Well, I guess they've proven they aren't that good. They're 6-2 and two now, and they're searching a little bit. They are searching, and if you talk to them, they're not feeling good about how they feel and about their team right now, losing last week to Iowa. And the problem I think they are having is not enough big plays, not enough weapons for Wally Richardson to use. But, you know, last week they may have found another guy, another weapon. It's a fullback, Aaron Harris, and it's a little different for a Penn State offense who so long have really gone with a fullback who blocks. Now they've got a guy, another weapon to go along with Curtis Enos, who can give Wally Richardson a little help. Well, they're going to need some help for Wally Richardson. He is struggling right now, admittedly. On the other side, the Hoosiers. Here's what Conway's done as far as pinning the opposition. Stoner and Allen await the kick, and this will be number 20 in the touchback category for Brett Conway. So Indiana will have to work from its own 20-yard line. Front wall, Brandon Short had a great game. Three tackles for loss and a blocked field goal last week. Wasn't enough to beat Iowa. Fornadel, Noble, and Schneider round out the four-man group. In the 4-3 defense, Jim Nelson right now. Leading tackler, Filardi and Collins. And a change in the secondary. Chino Prater in for Brian Miller out with a bad hamstring. Tate Herring and Lee round out the Penn State secondary. So, first down and five for Alex Smith. And he got about two. Tight end set. They fake it to Smith. Rodgers comes up throwing. Got it to the tight end. Good for the first down. As Darren Second Warner. and 11. So far, they've started off well. Here's another bootleg. Rodgers rifles in. It's intercepted by Collins. Collins last year had an 80-yard touchdown on his first career interception. Well, here in series number one, he's got the pickoff for Penn State. At the time, end of the line of scrimmage, number six right there, the outside linebacker. Wilkerson is going to come into your picture just behind him, and there it is, trying to throw right off the shoulder of the linebacker, which occasionally you have to do when you're fitting it in there against the zone. 22-yard line, Wally Richardson and the Penn State offense. The give, Curtis Enos. Off the left side, and offensively for Penn State. Wally Richardson has been struggling. Jason Slode will start the game at fullback. We'll see a lot of Aaron Harris, as Gary talked about, but Slode will protect Richardson and lead it for Enos. Juravicious, the top receiver right now. Olsimer and Nastasi round out the receiving core. And up front, Jason Henderson back after that broken leg early in the season. He'll have his hands full today with the defensive ends of Indiana. Ostrowski, Tilsch, Marzik, and Blick. Round out the Penn State offensive front on a second down and three. Play action for Richardson. Fires near side. Nastassi's got it. He's got a first down on the ground. Second down and eight. Football at the Indiana 25. Richardson wants to throw to the end zone. Overshot Nastassi. Pretty good size. As the problem for the Penn State offense. But you've got to have help from your fullback and your line. And the slow the fullback gives him some help there. 37 yards away. And he's got it right down the middle for our first score of the ball game. So the Aaron Collins interception does net Penn State three points. They lead by a field goal. First and 15 for Rodgers and the Indiana offense. Play action. Rodgers steps up. Hit as he throws. Had a shot to complete the fourth row. Quick snap on second and 15. Alex Smith, they stretch it out. Does the Penn State defense has a whole extra set of shoes on the far side if it gets any wetter. Rodgers... You look from behind him, and he's looking for a place to go. Finally scrambles past the umpire and got out to the 23-yard line. It would have been in a lot better shape without that penalty. Quick snap again. Here's the play-action bootleg. That pass tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Sean Lee. Somebody got a hand on it, Gary, I think, and it was easy pickings then for Sean. Trying to go to Steve Lee. That's a lot of names here. See if number six doesn't get his paw on this one. Yep, there it is. Gets the pickoff, and on another bootleg, they've run two bootleg plays, kind of new for this offense. They've really had them open both times, and they've gotten two interceptions out yeah, of it. I want to say for the Nittany Lion offense. Cleary and Fields, a brand new backfield, but it's Richardson wanting to go. He thought about end zone and thought too long. Nailed as he threw it by Damian Bates. Juravicious and Nastassi to wideouts. Whoa! That was fast. Against Temple, hit a 52-yarder, his career long. This is a 49-yard field goal attempt, and it's blocked. Damian Gregory, I think, is the guy that got a hand on it. 
Indiana takes over at midfield. position for Indiana just on the Penn State side of midfield. Alex Smith finally finds a little bit of room. With four and a half minutes remaining in the first quarter. Three nothing Penn State. He is an end around coming. Dorian Wilkerson got around the first man looking for a block. Tucks inside and he might have a first down. The name of the weekend against Penn State. Here's a quarterback draw for Rodgers. Got some room in front of it. Inside the 20. First and goal. Smith behind Lee again. Got inside the five. Here comes the option. He'll keep there and score. Quarter. One more play in this quarter's history. We'll turn things around. Play action. Richardson throws on the run. Completes it to his tight end across the 30. Concho Brown got it. Richardson didn't hit him. They could have had big plays and maybe a victory, but didn't turn out that way. Now he's throwing a fade for his tight end. Uh, rather Juravicious, not the tight end. Juravicious so big sometimes you think he's a tight struggling end. struggling, and they need, to, they need him to get going. They're going to blitz him here, too, I can just tell you. Here they come. Richardson stands in, completes it, but drops. Immediately is Olsimer. Boy, nice open field tackle. That's Mike McQuarrie. He warmed up a little bit last week against Iowa, but didn't play. Alex Smith broke a tackle at the line of scrimmage. Got out for nine. For Indiana, Smith got nine. And now the man that took his spot, Jason Spear, down the sideline. Back in. And he'll get the call. And he goes left side. And they found maybe a little dent. There's the second tight end. Lee, the fullback, will lead things for Alex Smith. Nice tough run. 7-3 right lead, 12-40 to go in the half. The toss. And Smith all wrapped up this time. Brandon Noble. Here comes the pressure on it. He's going to float one out for Smith, who made a nice catch. And now trying to get around the linebacker. And he did. Alex Smith got a first down. Wow. He had to get around Filardi and then had to keep his. Loading him up. Option left. Rodgers will keep it little by little. Third down and seven. Spear in motion out of the Indiana backfield. Rodgers throws complete inside the 10. Well short of the first down. Those Filardi makes good it. is the holder. They have faked yep. some field goals this year. This one spotted down, though, and... The man they call Mano has got it up and in. Manolopoulos tacks on three more. 10-0-1 left. First half, 10-3 in the end. First down, Penn State near midfield. They trail 10-3. McQuarrie spins, throws a slant intended for Juravicius. Incomplete, not a bad pass, but Juravicius wide to the right side. This has been a blitz down for third down. Third down at 10, it might end up being third and 15. Third down at 15. Quick snap this time. Deep ball man open, Juravicious has got it! He'll have a touchdown! Those two hooked up last year against Indiana for a 55-yard score. This one goes 57. Aaron Warnicke, who usually plays strong safety, now playing free safety, be forgot to get deep on the play. Here he is right here. He should be back. Jurevich is going to come in the picture right there. And on third and long, Warnicke, number 17, right there, was out of position. And that cost him a touchdown on a third and 15-yard play. That was not a blitz, by the way. Extra point coming up for Conway. Up and good. Tie game. Eight minutes and 50 seconds. Jurovicious career-long 57-yard touchdown reception is dropped. Rodgers goes out to Ward. Ward, another catch, another first down. Trying guys in right now, trying to keep them fresh in a long game. Extra receivers in, too, for Indiana. Thinking about a quarterback draw and weaves his way. First down, Rodgers. Back for the Hoosiers. Long handoff, Alex Smith again. Smith into the secondary, one man to beat. All the way to the 17-yard line, Sheno Prater saved a touchdown. The day now. And here comes his replacement. Spear, touchdown. Dwayne Bates thing, we saw that against Northwestern, only from the other side here, the very same play for a touchdown against 
when you run the ball for 211 in the first half, you are going to have a good offensive day. And when you also have two turnovers down there, the right-hand column and still lead by 10, you know you've played well for two quarters. But two quarters left, and that's been the story, really, of both these football teams this year. And we'll develop that as we go. Warming up Jay Rogers on the sideline. Penn State will have the ball first, though, and they made a quarterback change, of course, in the first half. Mike McQuery in for Wally Richardson. So the third quarter set to begin. Bill Manilopoulos has got it teed up. Cordell Mitchell and Kenny Watson await. Shorter kick this time. Watson from the two. Watson, big seam right up the middle. Kenny Watson cuts outside across the 40 all the way to midfield and then some. That's the way you start the third quarter when you're trailing. A 53-yard kickoff return by Kenny Watson. 45 of Indiana. The long handoff. Harris ran into the umpire, bounced off him, breaks out first down. To the 30. Didn't fumble the ball like he did against Iowa last week when he picked it back up and went all the way. Coming right at him this time. <laughs> Running the power play, bumps into the official, and it throws the shoe right at the end. First and 10. Counter to Everly. Everly had a big run in the first half, and he's got a nice gainer here. Three right here. Sure. Incomplete. Sure, vicious slipped down on a field. field goal attempt by Brett Conway. He's a good kicker. He's already shown that today. And he's got it. Another three for Penn State with plenty to spare. Conway from long range. 20 to 13, Indiana leads. Came in as a number two rusher in the Big Ten to Darnell Autry, and here he comes left side. Give to Smith. Traps, down he goes. He'll lose almost three. Slant, complete to Stoner. At the 32, still short of the first down. Strong with his arm strength. They bring the blitz again. Same play broken up this time by Mark Tate. Same exact pattern intended for Stoner. And that's where Gary Danielson and Adrian Karsten with you. Nice stop right there. And stopped in his tracks, Brandon Short with a tackle. Long is not good for this offense. Second down and try 17. Here comes a blitz from the outside. They throw to the hot man, Ward, over the middle. He's done a nice job today. Short almost jumped. Here they come with pressure again on Rodgers. Throws it a little bit behind Wilton. Extremely well today. Got a great hang time on his punts and thus his high net average in the Big Ten. Oh, Fair catch called for it. The fingertips by Campbell. <laughs> Everly remains the tailback. Play action, screen pass coming up. They go to Everly. And Everly out near the 25. In there, the wide receiver spot. Here comes Harris. The fullback to pick up now. And here comes Harris again. And he'll take would-be tacklers out for a first down. Would-be reception. Second down and 10. Give it off. Everly. First down run for Everly. Down Second and down and 10, Penn State, 421 left third quarter. Draw play to Harris. Nowhere to go. Patience is a virtue, his arms are so big. McQuarrie, and now he's going to air it near side. Joe King's out there, and he's got it, intercepted. Fumble. They're going to try play action. And they've got a man open and broken up. Mark Tate breaks it up. Pass intended for a Jamu Stoner. And Alex maybe got a yard. That's it. But they've taken a long time. Setkowski, here they come after him. He gets it away in a shorter amount of time, but it's returnable as well. Campbell from midfield. Campbell's got 20, but we've got a penalty marker down. It might get back on the return. And instead of having a field jumping up and down there. Here comes a post pattern. Jurovicius has it. To the 10. 42 yard pass play. Play. Play fake. Got a guy wide open and he's just going to drill it this time. I'm not putting it up there. I'm not going to let it die. Jurovicius does a good job of protecting that ball. Everly hitting the backfield. 
Bounces off. And Eberle somehow still on his feet inside the five. What a run. What a run. It's on first down. This play should have been made by Albert Wood, number 70, right there. And I think it was Robinson, number 55, put it. Well, you could just name anybody. Yeah, the motion man outside the three. Play action. Locked it to the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State. They're a point away from tying it up. It's Everly who did a lot of the work on that sensational run to get him close. Now as a pass receiver, he's got him in the end zone. McQuarrie did not in the ball. At the, at Stevenson is right here. Watch him go into the end zone and turn around. That's who he wanted to go to the ball to. And then floats it out to the outside. Warnicky and King can't get there. King quarter bugaboos as you see it. Play action pass. McQuarrie does a nice job of being patient going to the outside, putting it where just one guy could get the ball that time ever late. Go third quarter. Long handoff, Alex Smith. Alex got the corner. 20 to 17. Here it's 20 to 20. Second and 15. Rodgers trying to flare it out. Alex Smith. No help out there, though. Rodgers to throw. Got a man wide open, and Lee dropped it. Just talking about his hands, and uh, he's hitting his hand. The Penn State offense, which has put 10 points on the board, this stands up. Everly's been part of the reason. Here he comes again. Everly for about 12 more. It's on your local ABC station later on today. Here's Aaron Harris now. Aaron Harris passing, has a passing formation for Penn State. They're going to give it off to Everly. Everly's got a first down. He's down to the 41-yard line of Indiana. Second down and 10 at the 41. Harris popped in the backfield and brought down. This is the kind of spot you get a little bit nervous. Here comes a blitz on McQuarrie. He's going to throw it for Juravicius, and he got him again. Might be a face mask on Eric Allen at the end of the play, which is going to set Penn State up first and goal. We Big pieces of yardage here the fade to the inside look at the coverage right there perfect coverage but look at the height advantage that Juravicius has the ball is thrown high comes over the top gets the ball he grabbed him down pretty good there didn't he yep nice touch on this throw and remember we pointed out all earlier the win now is in Penn State's favor Stassi in motion two tight end set the give Joffy Fields he Close, he's in. Touchdown. <laughs> Dragon Warnicky with him. Defense that produced a goal line stand against Michigan in Ann Arbor a week ago could not stop Chaffee Fields right here as he just powers it into the end zone. And that Penn State offensive line with the passing uh, game. Six from the 24. Sees Alex Smith again. Trying to head to the corner. Five. Rogers, look out. Twisted in half. Did he lose the ball as well? They're yep. going to blow it dead at the 16. That ball. Thing this time coming from the outside, right inside, on touch. He's going to go right through Spear, right over Spear. And you can see how he pinned. Jay in relief of Wally Richardson. Hasn't completed a lot of passes, but the ones he has have been key plays. Everly. Warnicky let him have it. They fake it to Everly. McQuarrie comes up going deep for Juravicious. Another one he pulls down at the 10. Holy cow. First and goal. Because McQuarrie just ducked his head that time and threw it. Eric Allen was back there. This is a ball that if it gets intercepted, the coach comes over and says, what are you doing? He goes up and gets the ball. Watch McQuarrie duck and throw on this one. Throw and duck. Oh. Ouch. But there's the free safety. Allen in the middle of the field. Allen and Shaw right there. A takeaway by Jurovich. Everly bouncing off people and somehow got almost five. He got more than five out of that run. I don't know how. Second and goal. Counter, Everly hitting the backfield and score. That's the second time that Everly has made a play from the backfield that has been huge in the second half of this game. Matt Surface had a hand on him, but Everly broke the tackle and he's in the end zone. Full speed, and a back is going the opposite way, full speed. You see Surface, he tries to keep his 
play and his upfield shoulder there to make the hit, but Everly makes a little juke, gets to the outside of him right there, and there is maybe the lack of athletic ability from service. Now they're going to have to throw. And he throws. Wilkerson should have had it this year. Hit it for Indiana. Here's a screen pass. Alex Smith waits for his blockers. Had to make a one-hand catch, and then the blocking just... Rolling and trying to throw as Rodgers now picks up blockers. He's got some nice blockers. First down, Nittany Lions. Mike McQuarrie at quarterback. And to give to Everly. Warnicky trying to bring him down. Everly on 12 carries. And up throwings McQuarrie out to Olsumer, the tight end. That's a, another first down. He's out of bounds, though. That's about the only bad part of it. Using all the clock. And then to give on a little counter to Everly. Boy, he just makes a lot of people miss, but he has been a force to be reckoned with on offense. A query rolls, wants to throw, waits for Jerovicious to come open, and then skipped it off his hands. Penn State forced to punt. Jamu Stoner waiting on the punt. Oh, fumble it. Penn State's got it. Penn State's got it, but it's a muffed ball. It will go back to where they recovered the, the fumble. Lonnie King gets the ball. He was the hawk on the position outside. Picks up the ball. You cannot advance it on a muffed punt like that. Two tight ends set. Everly. He's got five. Second down and five. Bouncing outside. Harris for the touchdown. Thirty unanswered Penn State points. Five thirteen left. And two will be waiting on them with a seven and two record though, and three and two in the Big Ten because they're on their way to a victory here today. And now pressure and. Down goes Rodgers. Chris Snyder in there again. It's not going to be an exception. High snap from the shotgun. Rodgers throws. It's intercepted. Spilani. Touchdown, Penn State. Jared Spilani goes 27 yards for the score. Game, but now they're going to go home happy. Yeah, here's Filardi right, right there. He's going to end up with the ball this time. Reads the quarterback's eyes, steps right in front of him that time, makes the play. And, you know, last time we did Penn State and Indiana here, the game looked, the score was closer than the game looked. This time, the score is wider than the game yep. appears to be. Right. Right. Extra point, Travis Forney is going to try one. Conway's legs getting tired. <laughs> Whoop, he just barely got it through there, but he got it through there. It is 48 to 20. Chris Ditto warming up, but it's going to be four minute, 24 second mop up duty at best as we check in with Mike Tariq. Goes out to the left side. Steve Lee in and out of his hands. Carston seems to find it every city. From the 46, second and 10. Ditto. Running out of time, incomplete. You got and how the after your one and two, how the next people kind of fall into the bowl situation. Ditto throws to Stoner across the middle. Oh, well. Ditto on a fourth and two, complete. No, nope. in and out of the hands. Of Nothing where? in the second half. Yep. They could not run the ball against Penn State. Nothing was there. First Ditto now out of the shotgun. Almost had that picked uh, off life. and uh, baby on the way. Ditto. Deep middle. Whoa. Oh, what a catch by Hinson. And Hinson going to get swarmed down as he got Ditto from the gun again. Both wide outs to the right. Now going deep down the middle. Got a man there. Touchdown. Mercy Gaddis. Yeah. You know, Fred, you asked me when they were 14 points down, would you have put in Ditto? And I said no. Lopolis will have an onside kick coming up to the left side here. Penn State with its good hands crew up there, but it came out. And now Penn State does pick it up on the bounce. Anthony Cleary, one of the backup fullbacks, takes that ricochet the other way. 
Pettigrew, I think, was the guy who had a chance. Number 10 right there. But he tries to take it off his shoulder pads. It bounces up and clearly comes in. Shaw, Patrick Shaw, number six, was the only guy that really even had a chance for the play as he flicked it loose that time. Rankings over the course of the last month from third down to 17th. And now Jeff Nixon. Another as Joe Paterno told us last night, Brad, that defection of Freddie Scott to the pros a little bit early. That surprised Joe and caught him a bit short at wide receiver. Freddie now with the Atlanta Falcons. Penn State had to fight for it, but fight for it they did, and they're going to get the victory. 48 to 26. Stay tuned. The Residence in Scoreboard shows next. For Gary Daniels and Adrian Carson and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Brad Nessler. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. From Bloomington, we'll see you next week. Now let's check in with Mike Tirico on the Residence in College Scoreboard show. Michael, it's all yours.